So just to, to introduce um, what I want to talk about here generally, we are in very difficult and very challenging times, absolutely. And anything here is not going to change that. Um, it's, I guess, unprecedented um, in this situation and makes for real difficulties for everybody in every domain. Uh, in the health domain, in the financial domain, in the business and economic domain, political domain, all of it. So then, this is my question then, what now? What are we going to do? Because action is the only answer to uh, difficulty. And now is the only time we've got to take that action. So I want to explore a little bit uh, around that um, in terms of what practices actually can we take up now and what sort of mental models, uh, in other words, ideas and beliefs, if you like, that we have that are not going to serve us well now uh, and which ones and which practices are going to serve us well now. And I'd like, I like the idea of, um, comes from uh, the book called Anti-Fragility by Nassim Taleb. You may be familiar with Nassim Taleb. Uh, he wrote the book Black Swan, um, quite a, a well-known book now in terms of the uh, unthinkable happening uh, and what to do about it, particularly in terms of the, um, the financial crash. Uh, 10 years or so ago. And anti-fragility is interesting because we are in stressful times, absolutely. Turmoil, stress, yes. Now, how? what is the possible responses to that? Well, uh, if you are fragile, stress will break you. So we certainly don't want to be fragile. Now, what do we want to be? What's the opposite of fragile? Well, um, there's a lot of talk about resilience, of course, and this is important. Now, what do you? What happens if you stress something that is resilient? Well, it takes the stress up to a point, and then it breaks. So resilience is fine up to a point, but now supposing you take this idea of being anti-fragile, and anti-fragile is not about being resilient. It's actually about profiting or using that chaos and turmoil in order to change and grow stronger in many ways. So I was thinking of an example, and that would be water. You know, water is not resilient. Uh, water flows, water changes, water is able to adapt to whatever stresses you put on it. It doesn't break. And I think this is a, a very nice metaphor for these times. Okay. Um, I'm going to stop the video now because I want to get into some of these slides and then towards the end um, I'll start the video again and I'll be very open to any questions that you have either that you've thought of before or that come up during the course of the presentation. Okay, this first slide here, um, for those of you that uh, have seen the film Lord of the Rings, you may recognize it. Uh, it's a famous pathway where the heroes are first, they first of all see the Black Riders and the Black Riders, of course, are the villains. And they have to hide from the villains because they don't know these Black Riders. They're an unknown threat. They're terrifying, terrifying. Nothing has prepared them for this threat. So they hide and they're afraid. And that's fine at that stage of the movie. <laughs> and of course, if you know the whole movie, um, you know that a lot happens, they grow a lot stronger and they triumph in the end. And even though they are afraid at the time, there's a lot going on with other heroes in the story, finding out information and helping them. So I often think... Um, when... sorry, sorry, Joseph, but have you switched your slides? Because it's still in the slides of the trees. Yep, we're still on the slides of the trees. Oh, sorry, sorry, I thought you were... Excuse me. I'm still talking about the trees okay, good. <laughs> because it's about it's about the film but I but I want to develop this point I want to say that if 
I'm in a difficult situation, then I kind of like to imagine that I'm in a film. And, you know, at the beginning, it's like danger and, and difficulty. And yeah, it is. And you have to do something. You have to engage in the story. But the story goes on. And one mental model I have is that, you know, the story goes on. And at the end of the story, it's okay. Maybe it's better than okay, but it's okay. So remember, in, this, in the story, however difficult it might get, the story hasn't finished and we can make our own story. The other thing I want to emphasize is that practice, doing things is really important in situations like this. There's a lot of advice. There's a lot of intellectual stuff, but that only engages one part of the brain you know the, co the cognitive elements and that's fine it needs to make sense it's okay but if there isn't emotion involved then you're not going to move because at least in english you know emotion motion movement you're not going to move you're not going to do anything so there needs to be some feeling engagement because goals without values and emotion they're just cognitive they don't mean anything so we want some practices here that will engage you so that you can do something. Okay, so then let's move on. Apart from practices, we want good mental models. We want good ideas that will help us to not only uh, be okay during these times, but perhaps even be anti-fragile and use the challenge to grow stronger as you do when you, you lift weights, you know, you stress the muscles and they get stronger. They don't get stronger if you don't stress them. So we, we've got to challenge mental models and we've got to find good ones. Um, and including our own, of course, because as a coaches, we can't help others unless we're open ourselves to this sort of, um, this sort of flexibility, this sort of anti-fragility. 